Do you want rock? How you doing, bro? <laughs> It occurred to me on this fine Sunday morning that I haven't done a cooking tutorial in a long time or shared any recipes. In the spirit of this very snowy, wintry day, I'm gonna cook a delicious roasted sweet potato and butternut squash soup. I'm gonna do some roasted crunchy hazelnuts on top as well. I woke up two days ago with some sort of sinus infection. I never get ill. And I was actually telling somebody how I never get ill. And so now I've woken up ill. <laughs> I just walked three miles to my local town out in the Chilton Hills to pick up the two ingredients that I need to make this soup because yeah. He's enjoying it. <laughs> say hi everybody! Hi! Can you say hello? <laughs> this little angel has been in a very, very trying and testing mood. So, um, I'm going to do my best. Luckily it's a very quick recipe. Let me show you what you're going to need. A mammoth genetically modified squash. This is huge! A large sweet potato. I've got two medium sweet potatoes. You will also need olive oil, some nutmeg, ginger, I'm going to put some cloves to mine as well, a red onion, salt and pepper, a restorative cup of tea, a low sodium stock cube. I'm actually going to use two cubes and you're going to use two pints of water to go with it. Get your onion, your sweet potato, no, no, your, no, 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 go play with your kitchen, no, go play. This recipe is wrestling, <coughs> is wrestling a tantruming toddler at the same time as making it. What's wrong? <coughs> I won't let him play with knives. Can't remember what I've said now. Yeah, you're just gonna chop up all your vegetables. Sprinkle them with all your seasoning and bake them. That's like the equivalent of a medium butternut squash. For those who are counting macros and being quite accurate. There's nothing worse when a recipe says use a small squash or use a medium sized sweet potato because these things vary. Let's call it 730 grams. Just gonna sprinkle on just in the mirror. Oh really? Are we starting this now? Alright, well hello. Don't touch it. Yes, that's hot. Get away. Now how long are we gonna put that on for? It's hot, isn't it? Hot. You want to put that in the oven for around an hour or at least, oh shush, I'm in, interrupting me, interrupting me, for at least an hour, at least until they're like soft. So I would check them after about 40 minutes, but you're looking at about an hour. I've got an aga, so I don't know, like 180, between 180 and 200. <laughs> Are we 
we've got some smiles. I'm delighted. I found hazelnuts and organic ones. We're not gonna do anything with these other than we're gonna chop up a few and then we're gonna toast them in a pan. Voila. I feel like I'm going downhill fast with my cold at the moment. The pan should be nice and hot. <laughs> you want <right>, rock? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say hi, yeah. You want rock? Is yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Oh, no. Perfect. I cannot believe my husband is upstairs teaching my baby boy to say Willy. Can you hear it? Outrageous. That's the first lot done. I am having to do it in two lots because it's made quite a lot. One handed. Next lot going in. That is everything for today. We hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up! Thumbs woo, up and subscribe. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Then we will see you next time. Bye! Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>